Watch you guys got another video. If you're an Outlook user, you should consider changing this setting right now. Microsoft have identified a vulnerability. It's called CVE 2024-30103. Microsoft Outlook poses a serious cybersecurity threat. This is called Zero Click Remote Code Execution, RCE for short. The flaw can be exploited simply by opening up and previewing an email that contains a malicious payload in the body of the email. And this is requiring no further interaction from the user. And it's also important and crucial for organizations and home users to update their Outlook uh, installs with the Microsoft patch as soon as possible. So if you haven't updated, then it's really important that you patch your system because Microsoft have released the patch for this but they've also posted some information about how to block and unblock automatic picture downloads and other content that's automatically downloaded into your inbox via email. I would also advise you to turn off a bunch of settings, which we're going to go through in this video. Now, the potential of this vulnerability necessitates urgent action, and you should really do these settings immediately as soon as you watch this video. Now, if you're like me, I use Outlook every single day and I have a lot of emails coming in and I do get a lot of spam emails as well. And it's important that we protect ourselves when we're receiving emails inside our Outlook client. Now, I know I said that Microsoft have patched this, but it's important that you change these settings inside your email client to protect you against future vulnerabilities. Now, this is not the first time this vulnerability has uh, arisen. It's uh, been around before and they have patched it. So it's important that we go ahead and do it. So first off, you want to go to file and then office uh, account. Once you're inside here, make sure you've got the very latest updates for your Microsoft Office or your Office client. It's important that you keep this updated. Next, what you want to do is you want to head over to your Windows machine and make sure that you've got all of the latest updates and security updates and patches from Microsoft by running the Windows update. Now, if you're running an old version of Windows, which is end of life, then it's really important that you start consider rolling out a new update for that system to bring yourself up to date into a supported version of Windows. That's important. So let's go up to outlook here and go to file and then we're going to go down to options and make the changes inside options we're going to go to a trusted uh, center here right down in this little uh, outlook options area here click on the trusted center section and this is the area which helps to keep you safe when you're receiving emails and having attachments and pictures and things like that that are being sent to you. So click on the trusted center settings right here. And inside here, you're going to see your automatic download section right here. And this is the area we want to change. So you can see you can control whether Outlook automatically downloads and displays pictures and other stuff inside your HTML emails. And you really want to make sure that you block a lot of this stuff. And right here is the section that I'm talking about right here. You can see the check mark is in do not download pictures automatically in a standard HTML email message, also meetings and in also RSS items. You definitely want to uncheck the permit downloads in email messages and meetings from senders and recipients defined in the safe senders and the safe uh, recipients list used in the junk email filter. Also remove the check mark in permit downloads from websites uh, in this security zone, trusted zones and permit download in RSS items. You wanna take the check mark in permit that and permit the download in the SharePoint discussion boards. You definitely wanna take the check mark out of there and you can leave the check mark inside warn me before download content when editing, forwarding, and also replying to an email message or meetings. You want to definitely leave the check mark in the very bottom one here. Don't download pictures in encrypted or signed HTML emails. And also you can leave this check mark down the bottom here as well. Leave the top one check marked as well, where it says don't download pictures automatically in signed HTML emails. Once you've done that, click OK and click OK again. And then you should see something like this when you receive emails. 
you can then click on this if you do want to download the pictures or change automatic download settings or add sender to the safe senders list. Most people don't even have a safe senders list and we've now uh, took the check mark out to permit those being sent to safe senders. If you are creating safe sender lists, then maybe don't uncheck mark those uh, settings that I've said there, but most people don't have a safe senders list. But that's pretty much it. By changing those settings, that should keep you a little bit safer because you never know with Microsoft, these uh, problems keep arising and it's important that you stay safe, especially if you use Outlook as your main email client like I do and a lot of other people do. It's always advisable to stay safe. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.